Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to calculate Cronbach's alpha, when to use it, and how we can interpret its results. Cronbach's alpha was developed by Lee Cronbach in 1951 and is the most commonly used statistic for determining the internal consistency of measurements, such as items in a questionnaire, exam, or a survey. In other terms, Cronbach's alpha will tell you if the test you have designed is accurately measuring the variable of interest. In our example, we're having several questions that they measure food quality, such as the food was served hot and fresh, the menu had an excellent selection of items, and we're having different customers, and here we're having six customers. And it was a scale from one to five. So it was a liquor scale. So we're having two methods to calculate Cronbach's alpha. We will start with the first method. So in order to use the first method, we first have to uh, calculate the variance per item. So we're having equal variance. And here var.s because it's for example, okay, and we select the first light and like this we can drag it okay and then we have to calculate here the sum okay the sum per customer for all these items here so it's equal sum also we can drag it here and here we're having the sum per customer okay and we can drag it here and we have to calculate also the variance for the total so it's var.s and we do it like this so using the first method the first thing we have to calculate here it's k divided by k minus one and k it represents the number of items and as you can see here we're having four items so it's equal 4 divided by 4 minus 1, which means 3. Then we have to calculate variance total, and it's already calculated, so it's equal to 7.76. And here we have to calculate the sum of variance. Okay, and we do it like this. So it's the variance for all the items that we're having, the sum of variance for all the items. Finally, we arrive to calculate the Cronbach's alpha, and it's equal to k divided by k minus 1 times 1 minus the sum of variance item divided by variance total, okay, and like this, and here we go. Okay, so the Cronbach's alpha is 0 0.83. Later on, we will interpret the result. Now we go and we move to the second method. The second method, it's using ANOVA. So it's easier because it doesn't require too many calculations. So we go to data, data analysis, and we click on ANOVA two-factor without replication. And here I have to select the data. So I will select all the data that I'm having because I didn't select the label, so I don't click it. And here I have to put where I want to get my results. Okay, and here I'm having the results. And in order to calculate the Cronbach's alpha, it's one minus mean square errors divided by mean square rows so equal one minus and here we're having the mean square errors 0 0.31 okay divided by mean square rows and here we go we're having the same result so in general, a score greater than 0 0.7 is acceptable. However, some authors suggest higher values greater than 0 0.9. So here in our case, it's acceptable because it's greater than 0 
but also you have to be cautious because a high level of alpha may mean that the items in the test are highly correlated, which means that you are asking the same question several times or you are asking the same thing. Also, it's important to note that Cronbach's alpha is also sensitive to the number of items in a test. So usually, a larger number of items can result in a larger alpha. Finally, and this is something that you have to keep in mind, that Cronbach's alpha is unidimensional, which means that the questions you are asking should only measure one dimension or latent variable. And in our case here, we are only measuring food quality. So if we're having items that they measure the restaurant ambience, it shouldn't be included when we are doing the Cronbach Alpha. And it should be included in another structure or in another construct. So like this, you have always to keep in mind that Cronbach Alpha is unidimensional. It means it should measure only one construct. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.